I have strong financial willpower. Yeah. And that's that's one that, you know, we could maybe spend the entire session on. But the average American spends at least a couple hundred dollars a month on impulse purchases. That's right. Um, I yeah. know I've fallen fault to that. You know, you, you oh, yeah. constantly with social media and emails. I just saw a great deal on an ice cream maker. That <laughs> I, $210 I just think uh, I need to have. T- last night, I... Got home, our dishwasher wasn't working. Uh, Elisa's uh, not very happy that the dishwasher's not working, so I go. Did something I, happen to her? Did she get injured? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> disclaimer. Uh, those words of Ryan Edwards are not <laughs> Les Stewart's. Um, but, uh, um, you know, Considered an impulse buy one now I think about it, but it was something I felt like I had to do at that moment. But, uh, right. you know, didn't didn't really take the time to think about all my options with that. Mm-hmm. Just went and, Just and got something I thought would work, and I, I hope it does pay off. But, you know, right. it, it would have probably benefited me better to, to take a little time and think through that purchase, and I think we all fall victim to that uh, quite a bit. There's an interesting stat that now that 2020 is behind us and now that we were all, uh, I'll just kind of read from my paper here, we were spending more time and and had more stress in our lives. Mm -hmm. Hopefully a lot of that stress is hopefully getting behind us associated with the unknowns of the pandemic. But, uh, you know, it was was said that, that probably impulse spending shot up about 18% in 2020. 